All right, welcome back. I'm now being joined on the program to discuss more on this uh, visit by the Vice President to the Niger Delta. Uh, I'm being joined by Mr. Tony Oranta, who is a member of PANDEF and, of course, a stakeholder of the Niger Delta. Mr. Oranta, thank you very much uh, for joining us. First, let's get your take on the visit of the Vice President to the Niger Delta. How did the talks go? Uh, I don't know which talks you are referring to because the vice president did not hold talks with anybody. The vice president went on a photo opportunity tour. He met with um, traditional monarchs and so on. He saw some dancing by women and he was enough for the wife. But there was nothing that he did or said that change the matrix or the, the, the paradigm that was existing is existing in the Niger Delta. The Niger Delta had, over three months ago, presented its requests, demands, whatever you wish to call them, directly to the president, with the vice president in uh, attendance and all of his cabinet. And the president has so far totally ignored those requests. All we asked of him was set up a dialogue team. The vice president, in fact, the only thing he said that we gathered from the visit was that they are not going to dialogue. Well, I can say this categorically. If they will not dialogue, we will continue in the mess that we are in, in Nigeria and the Niger Delta. Did you actually get that, that the vice president actually said the government is not going to dialogue? Um, the vice president implied that there, would, there was no need for dialogue, that these what he called uh, confidence-building trips, that he intended to make, I mean, other than that to Baramatu, he said he'd make one to Bielsa, maybe one to Akwaibum, but definitely one to River State. And um, <laughs> he hopes that this will make a difference. How will it make a difference when over nine months ago, this same vice president went to Ogoniland to fulfill the campaign promise which was reiterated during the inauguration by the president in May 2015, which was that he would begin, commence the environmental remediation of Ogoniland. To date, we have not seen one dollar, we've not seen one shovel, we've not seen one project manager. In short, it has been one big scam. So, uh, why are we to believe that any visits will make any difference, especially when we know that for But to be candid, the, the government months, has consistently maintained that it is going to dialogue with, um, with, 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 with the stakeholders of the Niger Delta. So it, it might not be correct to say the government is saying now that it is not going to dialogue, even though we know the government seems to be delaying. Well, you, I, I don't know which point of view you are coming with, the standpoint, your perspective. If a government says it is troubled, it is worried about security and about peace, if a government says it needs inputs, resources, inputs from a particular region and that they are being, in one way or the other, not allowed to flow as they should and the government is intent on removing whatever blockages there are and making sure that there is smooth flowing of those resources that they need, uh, I would expect that government to be a bit more um, urgent in its approach to conflict resolution, to issues, uh, attention to issues. But if after 18 months, I'm sorry, after eight months of our 
having started talks with the government and having told government this is what we want and government at the for about five months said oh you know the only reason why i won't talk to you we are not sure which group to talk to and then pandev came up which was a coalition amalgamation of all the groups and met with the government at the instance of not just the niger delta but the international world we met with the president and we produced and offered to him the terms of expediting peace and we said all these things can be done simply by your naming a dialogue team and he has not named it after that meeting three months after what evidence do we have to show that there's sincerity on the part of government none and maybe that is why shortly after that visit we saw something or uh, one or two things happen the government reached out to you at all to explain why it has not been able to set up that team no, the government has been totally nonchalant. In fact, the government did not bother to respond at all to our uh, requests. Uh, prior to this uh, announcement that he wanted to visit the region, the government has refused to even interface with us. I have personal relationships with a few people. Yes, they will say they have been talking to me. But officially, they have not talked to Niger Delta. Just, just how, how can we go forward on this? Because the fact is that whether we like it or not, at the end of the day, the government has got no choice in this matter. It still has to sit down and talk with the people of the Niger Delta, whether or not it likes it. So, so for you, just what's the best way to go forward on this? Simple. I think the media represents the people. You, members of the media, call on government to please set up a dialogue team. As soon as a dialogue team is set up, and then they say, we are commencing dialogue from day one, then we can go forward. Remember that to make this dialogue possible, we of Pandef reached out to all the agitating groups, and we got them to unilaterally, initially, uh, declare a 30 days ceasefire. We got them to extend it to a 90 days ceasefire. We have, in fact, even made them so far extend it to a, an indefinite ceasefire. And that ceasefire is holding. We are now having new groups popping up which is not to be unexpected because there are a few young hotheads who are saying whoever the leadership of our groups are who agreed to a meeting and agreed to a ceasefire, they are not, it's not working. Maybe we better go back to our, whatever you call it, days. We believe that all of this can be handled, can be... In fact, it's so simple. Let the government announce its dialogue team, period. So Tony Ranta, thank you very much for joining us uh, on the program and thank you very much for your contributions. Uh, it, it's quite surprising that uh, up till this period, the government has not announced uh, a dialogue team, especially when you consider how important uh, the Niger Delta is and how important it is to resolve the crisis there and get uh, us moving. But thank you very much for joining us. I uh, will take a short break, and when we come back, uh, we'll be discussing something else. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, would you, come, would you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions.